This is an incredible event and um, it's attracted a lot of attention internationally and nationally. Um, I know there's been a lot of media requests to attend the state funeral. How do you go about deciding which media organizations are allowed into the state funeral and which ones aren't? I think the accreditation of the media has been another activity for us. Uh, we, we just didn't anticipate the, the, the media and the, the, the numbers that we're having today. If I'm, I can just estimate, yesterday, I think we, when we started, we were sitting at those that had pre-registered at close to about 3,000. This morning, the figure that I'm getting, because the accreditation center has been open throughout the night, the latest figure that I got this morning was that about 1,500 journalists were accredited overnight. I'm not sure how many because others are still uh, coming because others are coming for tomorrow's event, but are others wanting to cover the Eastern Cape. So I guess we will only be able to know the exact number of media that covered this event after the ceremony because they are coming on a daily basis and the numbers keep uh, increasing. As I said, that as of yesterday, the number that I had was about 3,000. I'm told that there's num a number that uh, increased this morning, uh, an additional that, that was processed overnight, and it was sitting at, at about 1,500. But I guess at the end of the event, we will be knowing how much. But I have to say that the number that we have huge by any, that any events that we have as a government. So it just shows how we have internationally. And I think we have to say, as government that we feel really, really humbled by the interest the world has uh, in this great statement and in, in, in the country as, a, as a, on its own, I think we are doing whatever we can to make their work as comfortable as possible as GCIS.